What's happening? Dustin here with Life in a Mustang, and today I'm going to show you how to install some clear fog lights in your 9904 Mustang. So let's go ahead and get to that super sweet look. As you can see here, I've already got the clear headlights. They do make a big difference in the appearance of your car. Now, this is all eBay stuff from any of those other companies that charge a lot more money for a better product. Yes, it's eBay. It may last a year, it may last a lifetime, but for the price, I'm willing to replace it once every year or so. So, yeah. Anyways, take a look at what we got going on already. There's the clear corner headlights. But if you see down here, it's got that like 90s fog light thing going on. And that's what we're gonna change. We're gonna go ahead and put these fog lights right here. Here's the package. And these babies right there, as you can see, that's gonna be a totally different look. They came in this box right here, in this bubble wrap. It's just that, so apparently there's a screw there and a couple of screws or clips there. Peel off this film right there. So let's go ahead and get into that install. I've never done this, so I'm pretty sure it can't be that hard. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with the seven millimeter and take this bottom one off right here. And then there's gonna be two screws up on the inside. And now we're going to reach on top of this light right here, right here. We're going to reach on top of that. There's going to be two more screws on the very top. It's kind of a hard angle to get to. Okay, so I got the first light out. It was kind of a pain. As you can see, that there's two screws that go up on top right here and right here. And then there's a screw that goes down at the bottom. They're kind of a pain to get to. They're really not that easy to get to. Like for real, they're not. There's no way I was gonna film that and get my hands in there and get the camera in there. But I'll show you on the outside of the fog light where they are and you'll be able to get it. Okay, so here is the original light that came out. You can see those two holes at the top. That's where two screws go through, and that would be these torque screws right here. That is a T15 Torx right there. So two Torx go at the top, and then you have a seven millimeter or they're all they're all seven millimeter but you can use Torx on the inside so T15 or seven millimeter for the top two and then there's one at the bottom what we're gonna do is take this metal clip right there and transfer it to the new one that way there's something to screw into and then that screw right there is your adjustment screw and there you just screw through on the inside. All right, we're gonna take this metal clip off right here and we're gonna transfer it to another one. Just take a flathead screwdriver and kind of pry it down. Just pried it off from there. Take. Take your new light and go ahead and slide it back on just like that. Now you're all set to put the new fog light on. All right, so you guys might not be able to see this whole process of getting in, in there. I showed you pretty much. There's three bolts. It's kind of easy. I'm going to put it in there, show you the results.
is a screw up in here. All right, as you can see, when you turn this, you turn it clockwise, it's gonna raise the fog light up. Turn it counterclockwise, the fog light is gonna drop down. So I'm turning it counterclockwise and the fog light's going down. I'm gonna get it to the position where I like it. Okay, now that I got one in, I'm gonna do a quick overview of what I used, how I did it, and then I'm just gonna slap the second one in and uh, put it together and show you guys. So here's the tools that I used. I used T15 wrench uh, Phillips to adjust, to adjust it up or down, a seven millimeter socket and a wrench possibly an extension and as you can see here there's two screws at the top those are the hardest to get to the one on the bottom that one's not so so bad to get to but these two on the top they're kind of a pain you go through get some light you go through these channels right there with your seven millimeter or your t15 you, and it's the, it's the same on both sides. You unscrew the, the old one and you take that bottom mounting hardware. It's just like a clip. It slides on, slides off. I showed you that already. Pop that in, put your new screws in, plug your lights on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one and I'll show you the finished product. All right, if you can see that up there and it gives you something to grip onto and get a little torque to get these bolts out. I put the extension, I'll show you that in one second. Go ahead and get this out of there and you can just turn these off like so and you get the bolts right out of there it's a lot easier than getting that t-bit out and this is it i'm gonna go ahead and finish these fog lights i'll go over that and this tool is cool today Okay, same thing. We're going to take this metal clip off right there. And we're going to swap it over to this side. Just take a flathead screwdriver and kind of pry it off from there. All right, so just pop this off like that. That comes off. Now we're just going to slide it onto the new one. And that's it. Same thing, bottom screw goes on this one, the top screws go on those holes right there. And then you take that fine adjustment screw right there and you can bring the light up or down to fit inside the bezel. All right, so I got one more screw to go. These things are a real pain to get in. My advice is use a seven millimeter. Uh, I use this hyper tough ratcheting thing right here and a little extension put the bolt in there and that way it holds your screw or you're just going to have a heck of a time Let's see if i can get this last one in it's a little tighter over on the driver's side there's nowhere near as much room i lost the bolt there we go it's a whole lot tighter Uh. all right so i finally got the last screw in and now i'm tightening this thing up uh real pain to get to real tight spot but it's definitely possible as you can see my little nifty light came in handy what i did was is i put one hand on one side of the light and i used my other hand right here to guide the screw into the hole. And I kind of just worked it with both hands until I got it in there. And I'll tell you, having a tool like this definitely made the difference in getting that sucker in there. You gotta use a socket. Don't even attempt it with a screwdriver. 
but now it's in there and we're going to adjust the light okay now as you can see the light is aiming up a little bit we want to close this gap so inside of here there's a screw we're going to take our screwdriver kind of pry down on the light a little get to the screwdriver and we're going to turn it and the light will slowly drop down make sure i'm actually on it and there it goes you can see the light slowly closing the gap get it wherever you think it should be i like it right about there we'll have to clean her up a bit got some smudges but that's the basics of it as you can see the clear fog lights with the clear corner headlights is a total transformation this thing is looking good all right so that's it we got the clear fog lights in now compared to these old things uh just the old printed look with you know whatever those little lines are if you compare that to this it's just and with the new headlights everything kind of seamlessly goes together i want to thank my daughter here she was helping with the camera because this was really a tight install it's hard to get in there it's the screws are just a pain like i said it's a seven millimeter i put it on like a little ratcheting screwdriver that made all the world in the difference I, it's called hyper tough i got it's a three pack kit at walmart for like twenty dollars you really can't beat it but like i said bought the e the i bought the fog lights on ebay for thirty dollars they're pretty much like the ones that you would buy Pretty much like the ones you would buy at any other store. They work great, they're awesome, they look good, they are adjustable, which is key of getting them sitting in there just right, just like the factory ones were. So I'm gonna leave this with how it is. Y'all judge whether you think they're worth it or not. I'll tell you in six months how, if they've fogged or if, if they've done anything where I'm gonna have to replace them, I'll let y'all know later on in the description farther down the line so stay tuned pay attention to that check out my other videos this has been life in a mustang where i do some sort of vlog some sort of how to i'm working on the car things things here i'm moving a little slow i got these rims i've had those for probably 15 years and never put them on the car i'm gonna be doing that soon so plenty more stuff coming engine build saving up money for the machine work that's expensive check out my other videos and i'll catch y'all later peace all right since i'm gonna back this thing up out of the driveway might as well do a cold start right